All right, uh, it's been a pretty productive day so far, and I am going to do that antenna test we talked about earlier today. Um, I've got two antennas. One of them is uh, just this standard um, small telescopic antenna that came with the uh, HEC RF. Um, I've used it to receive um, FM, a few of the um, VHF handbands, uh, and m m pretty much anything under um, sub gigahertz is pretty good at. And it'll receive uh, Wi-Fi signals and Bluetooth and uh, even you know, 5 gigahertz, but it's uh, relatively faint compared to, um, say, for instance, this guy, which is a um, is a Wi-Fi antenna from a, a, a router um, that, that just happens to use the SMA plug. Uh, and then our other contender is uh, this disc cone with a bunch of different uh, receivers. I don't, I haven't looked at the spec sheet for this thing, but um, I will find out eventually um, what they do. I suspect that this guy is um, probably just right at the gigahertz range, probably 900 megahertz around there. Um, yeah, not sure what these other two are, um, nor am I completely sure what, what these guys are, but um, these should be what are receiving most of the signal uh, since these are just reflectors. Um, and it's gonna reflect up here. Uh, these will receive signals, but these are right in the uh, beam path. Uh, and in the one that I built, uh, which I'll send you some pictures of. I found the, the pictures in the schematics. The, uh, there is a um, receiving rod directly aligned with each one of these um, reflector rods. Um, so this one's a little bit different design, but it's also uh, made to be a little, um, a little better with a, a wider frequency range, whereas uh, the disc cone I made was quite excellent um, at lower ranges, kind of in the 200 megahertz to um, you know 800 megahertz, 900 megahertz range. Um, this is allegedly good from 25 megahertz, which is uh, absurdly low, all the way up to uh, two gigahertz. Um, so, anyways, uh, I had been I had experimented with. Uh, a little bit earlier, uh, I, I had configured um, the uh, this guy, the spectrum analyzer, incorrectly, and so I was getting a false reading. So I was a little bummed. Thought that maybe the disk cone didn't work, um, but it seems to actually work. So on to the test. Right now, I am tuned. Um, oh, I also put a speaker in the um, Hack RF Porta Pack. So don't have to use headphones anymore. It's got a, a just the tiniest little speaker. Uh, maybe it's this side. Yeah, under there. Um, yeah, just the babyest little thing. It's about three quarters of an inch by an inch and a quarter. Or so uh, an oval. So, uh, anyways, right now we are tuned to uh, 102.4943. Effectively, we're at 102.5, which is a, a popular um, FM radio station in the area. Uh, so, with that said, I'm going to hook up this standard, um, this is the Ant 500 uh, standard, the shorter of the two telescopic antennas that come with the uh, Hack RF optionally, um, this being the other one. This is the Ant 700, um, and you can see that this one is uh, much larger, uh, but for our purposes, the, the 500 will work just fine. Uh, okay, so we got the 500. Let's connect this to the uh, antenna port here, uh, and we will immediately see an improvement in signal. And you can hear, you can hear it's trying to play, and this has got some weird grounding issues right now, I think related to uh, the way I'm powering this with this. Um, this external battery, uh, but if I provide ground myself, uh, you can now hear it, and we can see the signal that um, that our Ant 500 here is um, providing. So, 
uh, I wanted to contrast that with what the discone was providing. Um, so let's just do that. I'll take off the Ant 500. Uh, and then this is on, uh, the discount comes with a BNC adapter. I've got a BNC to um, SMA converter here. Uh, and we'll just plug that guy in. And immediately you can see a substantial difference. It's actually a little, uh, a little absurd here. Uh, let me see if I can get it actually started on the threads. There we go. Uh, yeah, so substantial difference. Um, we are almost uh, almost off the chart, so to speak. And, and I actually increased the LNA somewhere here. Uh, I think this would be closer to default at 32, uh, and even at that, it is just um, such an insanely good signal that uh, we can't actually display it in the, the on-screen bandwidth here. Uh, so that's first test. Uh, I think I'm going to do the ADS-B uh, airplanes next, uh, maybe look at um, the 868 where the uh, trunking local trunking systems uh, are transmitting those always provide a, a good constant reference signal um, so i'll be back with more